Hi, my name is Nathan. Today I'm going to show you how to make an unbreakable bubble. First, you need a bowl, two pipettes, two cups of water, cotton or woolen gloves, one fourth of a cup of dish soap, two tablespoons or more of glycerin, some scissors, and a spoon for mixing. You know when you make a regular bubble, it's only made out of water and soap. It has three layers, soap, water, and soap. The soap traps the water inside. One way a bubble may pop is if the water evaporates. Another way a bubble may pop is if you touch it. You might think the bubble may pop by the pressure of your finger, but it's actually the oil and dirt on a finger. One way to prevent this is to wear woolen or cotton gloves. As you can see, these bubbles pop very quickly. Now let's make a better bubble. First, you cut a pipette on the larger end to serve as your bubble wand. Okay, don't need that anymore. Next, you add two cups of water into your bowl. Then you add one fourth of a cup of dish soap. Then stir it very gently with your spoon because you don't want to cause foam. Well, now that we use this to stir, we don't need it anymore. Next, you add the special ingredient glycerin. Well, that was a mistake. Just kidding. Nothing really happened. Now you add two tablespoons of glycerin. I didn't add any before, so. You might want to the process a little faster. If two tablespoons doesn't work, add a little more. Next, mix it up gently. Man, I really wish I had my spoon with me. Ah, there we go. Next, I mix it up gently. You don't want to cause any foam, so very gently. Next, you put on your gloves. Cotton or woolen, doesn't matter. Both will work pretty good. Next, you take your pipette that you cut in half, dip it in the water, now, you blow the bubble. And now you've made a bouncing bubble. Enjoy. You can do this experiment many times. The reason these bubbles last longer is because we added glycerin. Glycerin makes another layer around the water so it'll get more protection and it'll be harder for all the water to evaporate and the bubble to pop. I hope you enjoyed this experiment. Please like the video.